Hello, I'm Tom Lodziak. In this video, I'm going to talk about many players' worst nightmare. Long pimples. Ah! Your balls pop up. They go into the net. What the heck is going on? Okay, I'm going to see if I can help you out a little bit. So in this video, I'm going to share some basic tactics that you can use to beat these very annoying long pimples players. First, a quick disclaimer. I don't actually usually play with long pimples, so my technique in these demonstrations might be a little bit ropey, so please go easy on me on the comments. But the demonstration should be good enough to give you, you know, a basic understanding of how the long pimples work and what's going on. Many players struggle against long pimples because the pimples changes the spins in ways in which is different to what a normal rubber would do. But they are predictable. They're different, yes, but they are predictable. So the first step is to understand what happens when a long pimples player plays various different types of shot. So if you play a top spin attack and the long pimples player chops the ball back, then the ball is going to come back to you with very heavy backspin. If you do a topspin attack and the long pimples player blocks the ball back, then the ball is going to come back to you a little bit floaty. There's not really going to be that much spin on the ball. If you push the ball, so you put a bit of backspin on it, and the long pimples player pushes back, the ball is going to come back either with float, so not really much spin on the ball, or it could actually come back to you with a little bit of light top spin. If a long pimples player attacks with their long pimples, boom, and what you often get is this very flat ball back. There's not much spin on it, and actually sometimes there could even be a little bit of backspin on the ball. Now for a more detailed explanation of how long pimples work, so I actually recommend going to this um, website by Greg Letts. Um, I've got the website address there on the screen and I'll put it in the description of the YouTube video. Um, that website has these nice little animations showing what the long pimples do to the ball when the long pimples player plays different types of strokes. So if you want that deeper understanding, recommend that you go and take a look at that website. How I learned to play against long pimples players was using a simple tactic of alternating between topspin and push. Topspin and push. And the logic goes like this. You do a topspin attack. The long pimples player chops the ball back. The ball comes back to you with very heavy backspin, which can be quite difficult to attack. But instead of attacking it, instead you push that ball back. Now typically the long pimples player pushes your push. But here the ball comes back as float. Don't try to push these because your ball will probably pop up in the air. Instead, once they've pushed back and the ball's coming back with float, you can attack again. It's a much easier ball to attack. You attack again, the long play pimples player chops 
the ball comes back with heavy backspin. You push. The long pimples player pushes back. The ball comes back with float. Easier to attack. Long pimples player chops. Ball comes back as heavy backspin. You push. Long pimples player push. It's the ball comes back with float. Easier to attack. Boom. And so on and so on. Now this approach will give you a very good understanding of how the ball is responding to the long pimples, okay? Um, you might need a little bit of patience at first, push, topspin, push, topspin, but that's okay. I think that almost the more shots you play in this type of routine, the better understanding you get as to how the spin is changing. Now I think when this becomes quite easy, push, topspin, push, topspin, then I think you can probably start to cut out some of the pushes, especially when the ball's coming back perhaps a little bit higher. And therefore you can go for consecutive attacks. You could get in with the first topspin, the long pimples player chops back, and then you could attack again. Now this does require um, higher level attacking skills, but it's certainly possible to do. So let's give you three specific tactics you can use when you're playing against a player with long pimples. Tactic number one, backspin serve. You do a backspin serve, aim towards the long pimple side. Now, when you do a backspin serve, typically the long pimples player will push that ball back. Now, what spin comes back? You do backspin, they push, the ball's gonna come back with float. It might even come back with a little bit of light topspin. So, you then get ready for the third ball and attack that float. So it can be quite an easy way to get right on top of the long pimples player straight away. Backspin serve, push, return, comes back as float, and then you attack. The second tactic you can try is playing your attacks with speed and also keeping your attacks just a little bit flatter. Now the logic here is, the long pimples player often likes to have a bit of space to chop, and they also like a bit of spin to work with, to really send all that spin back to you with their long pimples. So if you play with extra speed and keep your attacks a little bit flatter, it makes it quite a bit harder for the long pimples player, A, to get the space to play the chop in the first place, and they don't have quite so much spin to work with. So, quick attacks and keep the shots just a little bit flatter. Then the third tactic you can try is to try and target the non-pimple side. So a lot of long pimples players will have long pimples on one side and just stay inverted rubber on the other side. Um, and they tend to want to try to keep the game as much as possible onto their long pimples. So if you start putting the ball more to this side, they will either start trying to move over here to use their long pimples, which then leaves them exposed to that corner so you can move them around a bit, or you're gonna force them to start using their inverted side, the normal rubber, a little bit more. And if you're really bothered by the long pimples, this, by forcing them to use their normal rubber, then, well, you've got a bit more of a normal gain there. Um, you do have to be careful because some long pimples players are good at twiddling the bat. So make sure you know which side they're using for long pimples and which side uh, might be the more normal inverted rubber and watch out to see 
if they keep switching the bat around. But targeting the non-pimple side can be a good way of putting the long pimples player a bit more out of their comfort zone. So hopefully that gives you a better idea of how long pimples works and some tactics that you can try the next time you play against a long pimples player. Now, my final tip is, as it often is, practice. You need to go and find a long pimples player and to practice with them to get a really good understanding and feel as to how the ball is coming back to you with the various different strokes. It's quite difficult to get good against a long pimples player if you only play with them very occasionally. Um, I was fortunate in the clubs that I've been to, there's always been a few long pimples players around, so I get to play with them quite a bit. And you soon get used to the different spins and it soon starts to become a bit more predictable and it all becomes easier to do. So find a long pimples player and practice with them lots and lots. Thank you very much for watching. I hope these tips about playing against long pimples players are going to be useful for you. Please do feedback. Let me know how you get on. Um, I've got lots more tips on my website. Go to tabletenniscoach.me.uk and if you found this video useful please make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel i've got lots more videos coming soon so i'll see you then bye bye